So the, shortly before 7 p.m., the JI The warning announces that a strong earthquake with an intensity of 7 occurred a while ago in Miyagi. An announcement says a tsunami warning has been issued. At that time, a tsunami had not reached the coastal areas of Miyako City and Iwate, but minutes later, it struck. As of 7 p.m., the full extent of the damage is still not known. This is Hachinohe City at 4.30 p.m., and we can observe the tsunami hitting the port. This is a broadcast that shortly after 3 p.m., the tsunami arrived in many regions. This is a broadcast shortly after 3.30 p.m. And this is the view of Kamaishi in Iwate Prefecture at 3.30 p.m. This is shortly before 4 p.m., the NHK's coverage of the tsunami shortly before 4 p.m. And it can see that the Kue K has been and the pier has been washed away. As of 7 p.m., uh, the overall picture of damage is yet to be reaffirmed. According to NHK helicopter of Miyagi Prefecture, and this is Sendai City and uh, Natori City of Miyagi Prefecture. This is the mouth of Natori River and the black tsunami that are engulfing the houses and the fields. The tsunami is engulfing the housings and buildings and are coming up the f river and over to the fields. It is going through all the fields and the buildings and roads and a lot of timber lumber as well as automobiles and pieces and debris and boats are being engulfed in the t tsunami and something is burning and it is being washed away by a tsunami while it's burning and we could see the um, smoke b blowing this is as of 4 p.m. Natori River, the mouth of Natori River in Miyagi Prefecture. And there is a next wave that looks uh, is coming through from the ocean. There is a major tsunami warning and tsunami warning issued for many areas today as of now. So please be on the alert. The tsunami continued to hit the coast, Pacific coast one after the other. And in many regions, there is a danger that the tsunami will continue to hit. So please be on the highest alert. Sendai Airport, the tsunami had also reached Sendai Airport. The runway, we could only see part of it, and the rest is now under the water. This is the airport building, and many people are waiting to be rescued.
and around the building, we can observe the cars that have been washed away by the tsunami. This is at 4.20 p.m. and we can see people who are calling for rescue out of their homes. This we observed in a tsunami of 7 meter and 30 centimeters. This is the Soma port of Fukushima Prefecture. The tides are swirling. The tides have hit the coast and reached the inland. The housings as well as rice paddies have been inundated. There's been great damage brought about. This could occur erupting in a house, a residential building. And due to tsunami and earthquake, a, a, uh, substantial damage has been observed in various places. Now, we will talk many areas in the, along the coast of the Pacific. At 3.20 p.m., this is Kamaishi City in Iwate Prefecture. The uh, surface of the ocean has surged, and in the ports, the water has started to permeate into the port. And at the port, it is being inundated by the water, and it seems as though many objects are being washed away by the... This is as of 3.20 p.m. Kamaishi City in Iwate Prefecture, we saw a truck being washed away. And this is Kamaishi City around the same time, 3.20 p.m. Many cars are being washed away by the tide. One car after the another by the strong force of the tsunami are being washed away. And a fishing boat is also being washed away by the tsunami. This is another view of Kamaishi City at Iwate Prefecture around 3.20 p.m. this afternoon. Fishing vessels, cars and even buildings are being washed away by the strong force of the tsunami. This is an image of Miyako City in Iwate Prefecture as of 3.20. It is about 3.20 p.m. On the left, you can see a rapid surge of waves from the left-hand side, and the boats, cars, and cargo are now being washed away. Uh, this is an image of Miyako uh, Bay port in Iwate Prefecture. And you can see uh, a building is also being washed away. It looks like a storehouse, warehouse. 